in the name of allah the most gracious most merciful hello everyone this is dr tariq sud thank you very much for watching my videos and your exceptional support to make this channel a grand success we are a partner please subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories and these success stories can be monetized into a value addition thank you very much again for your precious time today we are going to discuss center of excellence how we can establish a center of excellence and what would be the role of center of excellence in order to deliver the results as i have mentioned here what is the basic principle of the center of excellence first a governing a pathway delivering on a commitment differentiated a performance and enabling performers optimizations so that is how the center of excellence is performing okay okay uh, today we will give a brief about center of excellence and uh, what would be the key role of center of excellence and center of excellence initiatives so each initiative constituted into a uh, five sections it will take almost 3 to 5 months to complete a 27 initiatives i hope you will stay with me now in my next slide i will give you a key takeaway points of center of excellence on a later stage we'll brief about each initiative's key takeaway points and on my last slide we will conclude how effective and benchmarking initiatives can deliver the performance so today we will only discuss key takeaway points of each initiatives of operational excellence or center of excellence okay key takeaway points from center of excellence lecture number 1 okay today we will discuss only a key takeaway points from center of excellence first a role and responsibilities of different stakeholders number 2 what we want to be and how to become a world class company number 3 why we exist and how to develop produce and sell different products in a safe and environmentally responsible manner for community well being number 4 what we believe in and how to strive for excellence in different business aspects these are four key takeaway points we will discuss in our lecture number 1 center of excellence very soon okay now we are going to discuss its different initiatives so first we'll give a brief about how center of excellence functioning then we will explain its different initiatives then we will provide a you a key takeaway points of each initiatives on my last slide we will explain how effective benchmarking can be set up in order to deliver maximum value or, or value enhancement as i have discussed earlier i have a plan to give how the process industry are functioning effectively efficiently what are the ground rules if you can see here on my pyramid from bottom to top here so the first layer is called the leading factors so leading factors must be reliable very important must not have releases from any reasons so these factor have a logical connection up to top and the second is a semi leading so work safely or not at all that is the semi leading and number 3 semi lagging so production at rate product at specification there is always time to do it right on the last here that is lagging factors very important how to achieve here if it is worth doing do it in better way in 
order to stay on the top, to achieve a maximum, we need a different discipline engineers who should participate. Petroleum, chemical, electrical, instrument control, mechanical, industrial, and so on. And these engineers must have a specialty as far as the process industry is concerned. What are the special specialty we needed? A loss prevention engineer, safety engineers, process engineer, operation optimization, order system maintenance, corrosion, integrity, liability, cost, project, and etc. These engineers, when acquired a specialty, then they delivered what we're supposed to be to have a maximum value in order to stay on the top of the pyramid. So they will contribute from bottom to top in order to deliver the result as planned. How to do these activities to well frame and strategically structured, we need a center of excellence for engineering best practices. So based on that, we can deliver or we can constitute what we want to be and why we want to be at the top of the pyramid. So on my next slide, we will give a brief about the key focus area, how the center of excellence for engineering best practice can function effectively and efficiently. Okay, this is my key focus area, which uh, I have a plan to deliver a large number of lectures, probably uh, plus 20 lectures. Okay. This schematic demonstrates how the process industry is functioning and what are the different specialty is functioning in order to deliver the results. If you can see here, this is my raw material processed at different stages and after that it's delivering uh, my goal or my final product. Okay. First, what our my key objective, my key goal Environment compliance, personal safety, zero goal compliance, zero trip leaks, product quality, and optimize operating cost. That is uh, my key objective I should achieve when I process a raw feed uh, through at different stages. Okay, in order to achieve these products, what I have to do first, doing a things right, okay, then doing the right things, and number three, doing the right things right, okay. In order to do do these things, I have to do a complete a process what I supposed to do in order to do the things right, doing the right thing right and doing the right things right. Okay, now as I've shown my pyramid in my last slide, if you can see here in my pyramid, these are my are leading factors. These are my all leading factors, that is hazards, Operability management system, quantification of risk assessment, hazard identification, risk assessment, safety, integrity level, sale assessment. Okay. These are my leading. So, if something happen, so then it will turn into semi-leading, semi-lagging, and then lagging factor. That is my ultimate goal achieve. If whether I achieved my goal or not. Okay, I will brief 
give about all my hazard assessments then i will give brief about how my 15 segments will be there okay now my hazard assessment first i'm talking about the hazards and operator management systems this this technique provide systematic method of analyzing the cause and effects of abnormal plant operation okay number 2 quantification risk assessment to define the criteria to be used in quantitative risk assessment carried out for a company where it has a third party interest major stakeholder in project etc these criteria will ensure the consistency of the studies in order to that direct comparison may be made between studies that could uh, cover individual risk criteria location hazard assessment etc so these are area can be covered during quantification of risk in if we can see the number 3 is hazard identification in hazard identification hazards so early detection of potential hazard and threats from project plant or plant modification which covers structure responsibility technique of hazard studies it covers all phases of project feasibility concept optimization feed apex operation decommissioning abandonment potential hazard to human safety involvement and assets production loss etc okay in the risk assessment here that is the process procedure to identify assess and manage risk so normally the health and safety system driving residual risk to as low as possible acceptable level in third here that is number 5 to determine of appropriate reliability that is called the sil required from the elements of the safety instrumented functions in prior safety studies like hazap and hazard etc it covers safety integrity levels study using calibrated risk graph layer of protections analysis method that is also known as a lopa etc so these are five methods will be discussed next a couple of month okay now i will give brief about the other key focus area the first is a leadership okay leadership best practices as you have seen i have published a huge number of almost 23 lectures on leadership probably next couple of days you will also see some more lectures on leadership so what is the leadership best practice establish the multiple leadership model tam test is simple in concept address all business aspects feed plan and budget process that is the uh, leadership best practices number 2 competency assurance what is it competency assurance a process of procedure for a personal competency is a key to maintaining a personal safety and operational integrity competency developed and sustainable it's very integral as far as the process industry is concerned number 3 if you can work management system control coordinate ensure work authorization reduce the risk of health and safety and process incident nobody get hurt that is very important in number 4 facilities integrity management system what is that this is another very important segment to manage the integrity most critical surface equipment technical maintenance and inspection different types of category of equipment a b c d whatever and investigate and address a root cause analysis and reliability events etc in number 5 here 
alarm a critical operating management uh, parameters management systems establish a process procedure to manage alarm and critical operating parameters significant improve process safety by identifying key performance indicators that can be used to monitor alarm system health and manage is also called the cop cope critical operating parameter risk management system number 6 here the contract and selection management system procedure or process to attract and utilize a safe contractor work as a one team ensure a leadership interface sustain with a key focus area like health competency work empowerment program effectiveness and gap closures number 7 risk assessment management systems so in risk assessment management system process procedure to identify assess and manage risk health safety system driving reservoirs to acceptable level okay now to maintenance management system to achieve best in class safety reliability integrity and cost performance process procedure to set up centralized maintenance organizations number 8 facilities surveillance process procedure to maximize the value of the assets cost and value drivers unplanned downtime optimized planned downtime missed opportunities value of product and opex cost best value of the molecules at the best cost of the utilities number next is capacity enhancement a process to identify the categorize the unproduced volume restoring economic short in volumes to full capacity or more that is my capacity then short and long term turn around process to identify and address complexity scalability integrity integrated planning work selections refinement and shutdown management deliverables okay operator care management systems improved reliability increased volumes cost reduction enhanced knowledge transfer shifts and increased ownership improved license to operate performance number 12 management of change effective and benchmarking globally systemized process for management of change workflow from mocs steps and approvals so now we have discussed number 12 sections so how the things happen number 3 13 capex opex management system effectively and efficiently manage cash opex roles responsibilities expectations and tools okay so in last here we have seen a next is a project management system so guidance to practitioners to scale and implement project management efficiently and last very important that effective a benchmarking system when we have everything so how to benchmark understand performance variability and underlying casual factors broaden understand of work process integrations so after setting up of all process and specialty so you will deliver what you need to be at uh, in the pyramid that is center of excellence in order to enhance the process operations so if you see in the bottom area here that is a one example in process industry can cover that fcc sweetening hydro treating polymerization hydrogenation dehydration hydrofinch etc 
that are the process which pass through different stages in order to deliver the results how a different key focus area will contribute in order to have seamless operations. Okay, as we discussed earlier uh, about the center of excellence, what is basically the principal aim of center of excellence? Center of excellence uh, will provide you a governing pathway, delivering on commitment, differentiated performance, enabling profit, optimization, certainly, and deliver what you want to be. Okay, now, basically, as we stated here, center of excellence, if any company want to adopt center of excellence, first, we want to know where we are. First, a team. And second, to set a goal, objective, where we want to be. That will be a goal. In order to reach there, what to do? The function or activity. And then at last, how to do it? Okay. These are a different parts or sections in order to reach where you want to be. Okay. On my next slide, we will start a first initiative. It's called the continuous improvement. Then we will give a brief about 25 initiatives and there are key takeaway points of each lecture. So on the last slide, we will brief about effective and benchmarking of this initiative, how this initiative can deliver the result as demand or as desired. Okay. Now on my next slide here, will give of how to improve. What is the purpose of the continuous improvement? Okay, this is uh, our first lecture as far as uh, operation excellence is concerned. This is the continuous improvement narrative or concept. Okay, what is basically we are doing? We need to understand uh, two concepts here. So the first, the old versions, that is management maturity, vision, mission goals strategies tactics and action plans that is what the old versions of the management is doing so normally they will start from bottom to top here action plan leading factors then tactics semi leadings then strategies semi lagging goals mission and vision are the lagging factors okay now to convert into a new transformation of purpose, early members with motivation, the first concept here. Second, stay small but effective. Isolate from bureaucracy. Harden to directions. Demonstrate fun. Let the discipline do the buzzing factors and last but not is monetizations. Basically, what is the ground rules? Recognizing a culture, beliefs, behavior, assumption, values, how human interaction and characteristics. The need to participate, what is in it for me? What are my risks? Can I really improve myself and change my workplace into a more satisfying organization? Can this be a pleasurable? Had a previously bad experience with continuous improvement concept. Okay. This is the four structures we will present two to three lectures very soon. Okay. Now, the second initiatives here, engineering production leadership, what are basically leadership methods and sim simple in concept, matrix organization are about balance, layered leadership differential focus but keep line of sights production asset business widens views to see the whole pictures business planning tools and budget process so that are our five key takeaway points after production engineering a leadership okay now in my next initiatives in here risk management system complex systems are failed in a com complex way that is first Define the operation integrity management system, key elements of operation integrity management system, risk management process and tools, 
can suggestions for improvement of patients, integrities, and support improvement of patient tigers. These six initiatives we will discuss in risk management system. So, okay, staff competency assurance here. So, this initiative will demonstrate what is a competency, key elements of staff competency enhance, enhancement, how it's important, how to maintain personal operation integrity as far as competence is concerned, and ensuring personal competency, development, and sustainment. So that is how competency is important in order to have effective operations and management as a part of the center of excellence. I'm going to talk about a work management system as far as the center of excellence is concerned. First, understand best practice for the work management system, how to do it. Fundamental of work management systems. Understand why and how it works. Management system is used to ensure personal and operation integrity. That is key. Three key elements will be discussed into work management system initiative. Here is operational reliability. What is reliability? Why is reliability important? That is first instance which we'll discuss. What is predict, detect, response, and recover system? How it is demonstrated? What is the effectiveness? Understand the root cause failures analysis, know where to find information, know how to contact if you have a question. So that is how the system will demonstrate what we are supposed to do as far well as the operational reliability is concerned. Here. On my this slide, alarm management systems here, understand what is the an alarm critical operating parameters first here. Understand why alarm and critical operating parameter management is important for the safety and reliability. Understand the primary objective of the alarm, critical operating parameters management, best practices. Understand the global in implementation of alarm management system. Okay, on my next initiative. Contract instruction management system here. The first understand the concepts of the contractor selection process management system, how to implement contractor interface prioritizations tool, key area of the contractor performance, contractor leadership requirements, why it's important. So these four concepts we will discuss into contract selection management system initiative. Okay. Next initiative is facilities, integrity management system. Facilities integrity management objective and goals, alignment with business objective, facilities integrity management systems, risk mitigation barriers, frame of framework for the facilities integrity management system and its effectiveness. Okay, maintenance management system here. Understand the relevance and goals of the maintenance management system here. So the key elements of the maintenance management system concept of the centralized management management system how, how it can be implemented that is the learning point or take key takeaway points from the main maintenance management system okay risk assessment management system established process and procedures and identify assess and manage risk sport and efficient identifications and management of safety health and environment risk driving residuals to acceptable levels directly sports risk assessment and management system so over here now my next initiative okay now we are going to discuss uh, facilities surveillance here so the first establish assets level business value number two specific business risk needs and objective determine appropriate measurables decide where standardized a surveillance process are most effective establish clear line of sites between recommendation and actions agree on kp key performance indicators for plan health and resources deployment that is how we can demonstrate in facility surveillance management system okay capacity enhancement system Designate what capacity enhancement process covers. Identify, determine a key terms and definition of segmented capacities. 
categorize several events using the cause and effect definitions that is capacity enhancement systems okay shutdown management systems four key concept of sdms shutdown management systems shutdown complexity shutdown scalability shutdown integrated planning shutdown gated concept with gatekeeper systems work selection process work refinement and shutdown deliverables okay reliability care operator care what is operator care and why is it important how many core elements of operator care implement a focused implementation plan operator care benefits and example of the success resources and contacts so how the system can deliver reliability operator care system okay the next uh, management of change key takeaway point systemized a method to manage change sports consistent realization of full benefits creates multiple layers of the protections what are the special cases of the managed change and administrations affecting the management change of the systems cash opex management system first opex and profitability cash opex management systems your role in cash opex management system okay operation staffing and work analysis understand the operations need system needs so then understand the primary fields of staffing benchmarking process and the importance of the other indicators understand the suits of the tools available to improve the operation staffing efficiency so three concept will be discussed into operation staffing work analysis initiative okay project management system here understand a project management system understand operation involvement the projects promote capital efficiency understand a brownfield project successful factors know where to go and how to conduct the more informations as per the project management system is concerned okay this is the last initiatives of center of excellence key takeaway points of active and benchmarking understand a performance variability and underlying a casual factors asset team business improvement opportunities broaden understanding of work process integrations number 3 number 4 sport and operation developments so these are four key takeaway points will be discussed in effective benchmarking initiatives thank you very much for your precious time thanks and stay blessed Please don't hesitate send me your feedback and comments t.masood.dr at bath.edu many thanks and stay safe strong inspired and blessed thank you very much again